So imagine somebody offered you a job with a huge title, huge title, and massive expectations that you had absolutely no experience in, and they wouldn't give you a job description. Is that a job you would take? Oh, and by the way, the job changes dramatically every two or three years. <laughs> so basically, that is how parents have been parenting for generations, right? Parenting is the biggest job in the world. It is the most challenging job in the world. It is the most noble job in the world. And it's the most ambiguous job in the world. Everyone just tells you, hey, follow your instincts. You'll be a natural. You're the expert on your own children, right? I know that when I was raising my daughter, I was desperate for a manual. It's me and Jesse. And it was the whole time I was desperate for a manual. It wasn't just when she was first born. I was like, where's the manual? I actually wished my parents had had a manual, which many of you may feel the same way. Um, and I was kind of astonished when my daughter was born that time ma there weren't like time management brochures handed out at the hospital with every baby that was born. And there weren't time management brochures in the pediatrician's waiting room and in the offices of every school that your kid goes to, right? And as a time management and organizing expert for almost 30 years, I will tell you that wherever I have worked in the world, and I have worked on every continent with parents and families of every culture, configuration, single parents, married parents, extended families, all of that, the themes that I have heard have been consistent, which is how do I divide my time between these conflicting priorities? How do I make sure that I am there for my kids and I don't lose myself in the process? How do I decide between spending time with my spouse after dinner and after the kids are put to bed or getting back on the computer and getting some more work done? How do I choose between spending time with my friends or my extended family? And what no one talks about, and honestly, I didn't even realize until after my daughter had flown the nest and I was working on and thinking about this topic to write this book, what no one ever talks about or tells us is that the years that we are raising our kids happen to be the prime of our own adult development years. While we're raising our kids is when we are building, establishing and building our careers. It's the peak of our earning capacity. We're developing adult love relationships, whether you're married or whether it's your circle of adult friends. And we're discovering who we are as people. That is a simultaneous thing. And we kind of feel the pulls. We feel those conflicts. But it's just never really acknowledged. 